In today's lesson, we're going to go over how to graph a quadratic inequality, how to solve a quadratic inequality by graphing, and how to solve a quadratic inequality algebraically. Remember, with a quadratic inequality, we're going to have more than one solution, so therefore we have a solution set. So we're going to start basically by just graphing um, the inequality and taking a look at um, what it looks like in the coordinate plane and relating that to um, the number line when we solve it algebraically. So when graphing, the first thing you want to do is graph the parabola. And to graph the parabola, the first thing we do is determine your coordinates of the vertex. So using the axis of symmetry, define the x value, and plugging that in, define y. And then creating your table of values, okay? When you graph that parabola, you're graphing that boundary line, which is the curve. So that's this here. So that's part of the inequality. That's our boundary. And then we need a shaded region, whether it be below the vertex or above, OK, for a symbol that's less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. So it is inclusive. That's going to be a solid parabola, as shown to the right. If it doesn't have that equal to line, so for symbols of less than or greater than, that's a dotted parabola. And next we're going to talk about shading and how you know where to shade. So we're first going to start by graphing these basic parent functions. One is right side up versus upside down. So y greater than x squared, that's going to be a dotted parabola right through the origin. Y is greater than or equal to negative x squared, so we start by graphing the curve. It's going to be solid because of that equal to. And I'm actually going to go and do the bottom as well. So this time, greater than or equal to x squared, that's going to be right side up solid. And less than negative x squared is going to be dotted and upside down. Now you never have to memorize where you shade because you can always test a point. So for instance, if I test 0, 1, 2, 3. So if I test 0, 3, I substitute 3 in for y and 0 in for x. And is 3 greater than uh, 0 squared? 3 is greater than 0. That's true. So I want to shade where 0, 3 is, which is within the curve or above the vertex. Let's test 0, 3 again. So 0, 1, 2, 3. Is 3 greater than or equal to negative um, 0 squared? So 3 is greater than or equal to 0. That is true. So I want to shade where that point is, which is above the curve. Again, with the curve being the boundary line. And that point is above the vertex. So for a greater than symbol, we shade above the parabola. Um, when it's a less than symbol, whether it be less than or equal to or just less than, we shade below. So I'm going to be shading here. Now the easiest point to test to verify your solution is, um, well first of all you want to test a point that's in your solution region which is the shaded area. But a good point to test is 0, 0. Or you could say 1, 1, 2, 2. But 0, 0 is always the easiest point to test because anything times 0 is 0. Alright, to graph the solution set. To graph the parabola, I need my table of values, so I do the axis of symmetry, x equals negative b over 2a to find the vertex, negative 2 over 2 is negative 1. So 1, 2, 3, negative 1 is in the center. The y value that goes with that is negative 1 squared plus 2 times 1 minus 3. So we have 1 minus 2 minus 3, negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. So now I go to the calculator and I type it in. But I know that if this is negative 1, 3 points to the left is going to be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and then negative 1, 0, 1, 
2. So I'm looking for x values from negative 4 to 2. What is the respective y values? So x squared plus 2x minus 3. Using the calculator, we've got negative 4, positive 5, negative 3, 0, negative 2, negative 3. And it is symmetrical, so this is going to be negative 3, 0, 5. So let's plot our points. Going back to the symbol, because the symbol is greater than or equal to, it's going to be a solid curve. And then to determine where to shade or to verify that I'm correct, now greater than or equal to should be above the parabola, but I am going to test 0, 0 just to make sure. zero greater than or equal to zero squared minus two times zero minus three, zero minus zero minus three, zero is greater than or equal to negative three, that's true. So I'm going to shade where zero, zero is or above the parabola. And that's graphed, so we're done. On the next page we're going to use our graph to solve for x. So at the top of the page, the first thing I want you to do is to change some symbols. I want you to change this symbol here and here to a less than or equal to. And same with the inequalities on the right for B. Once again, to even get a picture of these curves on the calculator, we type in y equals x squared plus x minus 6 and y equals negative x squared plus x minus 6. So depending on, again, whether it's positive or negative as our leading coefficient, the a value, that's going to determine whether it's right side up or upside down. The inequality on the left, a positive x squared means it's going to be right side up, but this function is our y. Okay, so where is y greater than or equal to zero and where is y less than or equal to zero? Well, when we graph looking at our x-axis and y-axis, so if I were to draw my y-axis, it would fall about here, with this being x, this being y. Same over here from negative two to three, it's going to be closer to the negative two. Where is the curve? Or where does the parabola have a y value greater than zero? A y value greater than zero is above the x-axis. A y value less than zero is below the x-axis. Okay, so if I look at the curve that's above the x-axis, that's right here. And those x values that go with that curve are here. So the solution to the parabola for y greater than or equal to zero, or x squared plus x minus six greater than zero, would be x less than or equal to negative two, is we have a solid curve, which is um, a closed circle, or x greater than or equal to three. For the parabola, or where is the y value less than zero or below the x-axis, that's right here. And those values that go with that part of the curve are from negative 2 to 3. So this, again, above the x-axis equation A, or inequality A, below the x-axis is inequality B. So over here, where is this curve above the x-axis? That would be right here, greater than or equal to 0, and B below. So the part of the curve that's greater than is here. So negative 2 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 3. And this time, le or less than 0 or below the x-axis is here, which goes with this. The only option is to either be um, between or outside of the curve. So between is the pink, outside is here in green, and that goes with part of the curve 
below the x-axis. So that's x less than or equal to negative 2, or x greater than or equal to 3. So now we're going to solve one by graphing. When you see find the solution set, that means to solve for x. I've already done the work for the axis of symmetry in vertex. So 1, 2, 3, negative 1, 8. Now if we type the curve into the graphing calculator, we can get for the x values, uh, let's see, to the right, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, 0, 1, 2. We know it's going to be upside down because it's negative. Negative 2x squared minus 4x plus 6. And the y values are negative 10, 0, 6. So 6, 0, negative 10. So negative 4, negative 10. 3, 0. Negative 2, 6. Negative 1, 8. 0, 6. 1, 0. 2, negative 10. Going back to the symbol, because it does not contain the equal to, it's going to be dotted. To shade, we're going to shade below the parabola, or if you want to look at below the vertex. And to verify, I am going to test 0, 0. Is 0 less than negative 2 times 0 squared? Plugging into the original function, 0 minus 0 plus 6. 0 is less than 6. It checks or works. So if I'm looking at this parabola, I want to know where is the y value greater than 0? y greater than 0 is here which goes with these x values. You can also see that on the table. y greater than 0, well 6, 8, 6 is here, but it's going to actually approach right up to, but not including um, the zeros, because we have decimals as well, so we're going to write up to 0, but not, again, equal to 0. Open circles, because it was a dotted parabola, and my answer is going to be from negative 3, less than x, less than 1. Now if I switch the symbol so that it was greater than, so I wanted y to be less than 0, that's this part of the curve. And the x values that go with that, if you follow up to your x-axis, are here and here. So the answer to 0 greater than negative 2x squared minus 4x plus 6 would be x less than negative 3 or x greater than 1. Now when we solve algebraically, you know, where it's all based on x, this is our number line. So when we solve algebraically, we graph our solutions on a number line. So the first thing we want to do is write the equation, and we need to find the roots. Where does it cross the x-axis? That's where we're going to put our open circle or closed circle. So plot the roots on a number line, and that number line is our x-axis. For symbols that contain the equal to, we use a closed circle. If it doesn't have the equal to, that's open. And then I need to see, um, am I going to shade between, or am I going to shade away? So I need to choose x values that fall between our roots and outside of the roots. And we test the roots in the original inequality. Shade appropriately and then write our solutions based on where we shade, which some examples are shown here. So I'm first going to go uh, and find the roots, because the, the directions say to find and graph the solution set. So it factors x minus 3, x plus 2, with roots of negative 3, or I'm sorry, positive 3 and negative 2. I plot those on the number line. You don't have to do a full scale, 
but I want you to put them um, in order appropriately, meaning negative 2 is less than, so this should be on the left. Based on the symbol, it's going to be closed circles. And then I need a test of value that's between negative 2 and 3 and outside. So let's test for between x equals 0. So in the original inequality, is 0 squared minus 0 minus 6 greater than or equal to 0? So negative 6, is that greater than or equal to 0? That's false. Now I need to test outside. So let's test um, x equals 10. Multiples of 10 are easy to work with. So 10 squared minus 10 minus 6. 100 minus 10 is 90. 90 minus 6 is 84. Is 84 greater than or equal to 0? That's true. So I want to shade where 10 is. And 10's over here, so I'm going to shade right and left. I'm going to shade outside. So my answer, that fine, is going to be x less than or equal to negative 2 or x greater than or equal to 3. Now before I can find the roots, I need it set equal to 0. So set equal to 0, this is x squared minus 4x minus 5 equals 0. And then the factors of 5 that combine to 4 are negative 5 and 1. So on the number line, plot the roots. The roots would be 5 and negative 1. Based here, it's an open circle. Now I need to test inside or between and outside. So to test between, I'm going to test 0 again. And then outside, I'm going to test x equal to 10 again. So is 0, again in the original inequality here, is 0 squared less than 4 times 0 plus 5? 4 times 0 is 0, 0 plus 5 is 5, and 0 is less than 5, that's true. Is 10 squared less than 4 times 10 plus 5? Well, this is 40, and 40 plus 5 is 45. 10 squared is 100. That is not less than 45. So I want to shade where 0 is, which is between. An answer for this would be... negative 1 less than x less than 5. No equal to lines because they're open circles.